Shilwam, when the staff was also given no praise to how Bashem Mel Shah Bashem Kakudash, double honors to Apostle Great Mouse and honors to brothers do the work of the most on truth and the insincerity. Yahweh's real name of whom Lord Egri calls God Jehovah. Yahweh's real name is Yahweh. The son's true name is Yahweh Shah. When we pray, pray Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shah, Bashem Kakudash. Haba meaning in, Hamming then Sham meaning name, Rukakudash meaning Holy Spirit. When I see Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shah. Name of the Holy Spirit, right? Um, so this is a quick one. I came across this clip, man. Yeah, you know, when you when you just kind of look at the, the 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 technology that this man has, hey, man, this 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 ain't this ain't you know this on a carnal level ain't a, ain't um ain't a fair bad one, if you will, right? Uh, and that's why we just got to lean up on Yahweh Abba Hashem Yahushai, right? So we've been commanded. You know, to just wait upon the Lord, right? This is Zephaniah uh, 3 verse 8. It says, wait, therefore wait ye upon me, saith Yahweh, right? And, and that's all we can do because this man has uh, technology where it's like he doesn't even have to be there. Right? I'm going to play this clip, you know, Lord, Lord's Lord, well, don't you know, get a strike for playing it. But yeah, man, this man's got technology. He's got means um, to... You know, to 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 basically go out and use his sword, his blessing, right? Um. So carrying on, this is until the day that I rise up to the prey, right? Uh, for my determination, which the word there in the Hebrew is a uh, judgment, basically it says is to gather the nations, right? That I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. So. It's the Lord that's going to be fighting for us because, you know, the a, a carnal battle a car, is is basically in Esau's realm, right? If if this becomes a carnal fight, a hey, we through, right? That's why we have to depend on the spirit, right? That's what the scriptures say. For example, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, right? Because Esau is the king of that realm, right? In these days, right? But a hey, the spiritual that is the only way we go on. You know, survive against this man. All right, so let's let me let me play the clip real quick. Let me just do something real quick. So hopefully, it doesn't um, it doesn't uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, flag up. No, I can't. I can't seem to do it on the um, on the on the mobile version. You see that? Watch this. Watch this. Bam. Right. So you see that he's shooting at it. Shooting at it. Shooting at it. Right, but it doesn't do anything, and as soon as he moves out the way, watch this, bam, right? So they're making a scene what goes underneath the thing, right? And then you now you've got two hostages, right? So that one is looking, it's choosing, it's like, which one's real? So the one on the left is real, the one on the right, as you see there, was a dummy. When if you actually look at the man that, you know, played again, when you actually look at the guy that was on the left, you kind of see he kind of shudders. Right when 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 he hears the uh, you know bullet go off, right now just watch this again. You know he's all getting up in its face. It doesn't shoot at him. As soon as he moves out, right, he shoots. Right now, what's to say? Watch this again. Bam! Straight. Yeah, but enough of that. Right, yeah, but what's to say, um, you know, uh, who, 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 what, what the AI is going to be programmed as an enemy combatant, right? And especially if everyone's got that, you know, that karagma, right? And the people that ain't got it, what's it going to do? It's just going to say, no karagma, boom, take him out, right? He doesn't even have to risk losing any personnel. He can just be, you know, in his room somewhere just chilling. This is Romans 13 and 4. It says, For he is the minister of the Most High to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid, for he beareth not the sword in vain. For he is the minister of God, revenger to ex that a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Right? He is the minister of God, he saw him that doeth evil among the Israelites. Right? This devil don't bear the sword in vain. He don't bear the sword in vain. Right? That, that, that was the blessing that he was given, right, by, if you can receive it, Yahweh Shai, when he was Isaac. This is Deuteronomy 27 and 38. It says, And Esau said unto his father, Hast thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O my father. 
And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. And by thy sword shalt thou live and shall serve thy brother. And it shall come to pass when thou shalt have dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. All right? So it was a blessing that this man has. And you can see, you can see that there, man, he's, he's been perfecting it, which we're going to get uh, in the last precept, right? This is Ezekiel 21 and 9. He says, Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus say if you have a say, sword, a sword is sharpened and also furbished. All right. You know, where the furbished goes into like polished. It's the same with like sharpen, you know, you sharpen your skills, you polish your skills. <laughs> so Esau is polishing. His 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 uh what do you call it his artwork not artwork but his 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 uh, holding of the sword I'm trying trying to articulate that but you know he's he's, he's polishing that man right he says it is sharpened to make a sore slaughter and yo when when you've got this is it right when you when you've got a war and you've got a hundred men on one side a hundred men on the other side and then guess what the better you are right you can take out the other side. But if you if it's like a hundred men and you ain't even uh, those hundred men ain't even in the room and then they've got like a hundred drones, you take out those a hundred drones and then you still got to fight the hundred men, right? It's it, it is completely an unfair battle. But that's what the Mosai wants because the Mosai is looking to make a um, you know, to make a spectacle, right? You know, uh, the, the way that the, the, the elect are going to be saved, that they're going to survive through all of this hell that's about to come. Right? That's all a part of the Mosai's movie. He says, It is sharpened to make a slaughter, it's furbished that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? Right? right? Should we just be in, in a jolly spirit or whatever or have? No. Right? Should be aware of what's going on. He says, It contemned of the rod of my son is every tree. And he hath given it to be furbished, that it may be handled. The sword is, this sword is sharpened, and it is furbished, to give it into the hand of the slayer. Right, and who's the slayer? It's Esau, the so-called white man. And we'll just end on this, is Psalm 17 and 13. Arise, O Lord, Yahweh, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. Right, so he, he, the Lord, the Lord is uh, using Salakia, the Lord is using um, Esau as his sword. Right, wherever the Lord, uh, the Lord wants to kill a whole bunch of people, will use Esau to, to do it. Right, look, look what he did over to them Ammonites. Right, the Lord sanctioned all them hundred or two hundred thousand Ammonites to <clears throat> to perish. Ammon Am being the so called Japanese. Right, he, he, you know, the most I was the one that was down with them perishing in, in an instant. Right? So as those laws with us edifying. And yeah, man, this 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 ain't gonna be no no way. We can't win a, a carnal battle, right? We we have to depend on the spirit right? and trust in the spirit. Right? Um so as those laws with us edifying to the next subject, say shallow up.